Last time, we talked about the two most common phase interpreter PIs, which are a Vojmol PI and a Kermol PI. But there are still a few challenges we need to be aware of. Then, you may know why some people did not prefer to use either one of them. Let's continue our last discussion and start with the Vojmol PI over the inverter based PI. If the through ray of the waveforms are the output and inputs is much faster or sharper than the input phase spacing, then the output phase density is poor. To me, high density and low power are the same time. Our quick trick is to reduce the through ray by reducing the inverter's supply voltage. Hopefully, if your service has a ring oscillator based PL as your clock source, then the replica supply of a ring oscillator comes from almost free with no extra power penalty. Is our last statement true? Think about the mismatch image for 5 seconds. Correct. The transition through ray not only depends on the driver strength of the virtual PS inverter from the supply, but is also caused by the loading capacitance. However, the loading mismatch between the ring oscillator and virtual PI may not still lead to a high linearity virtual PI. Let's look at the two extreme images here. First, the ring oscillator's interconnection loading is greater than the same inverter cell of the Vojmo PI under the same supply voltage and will have a faster ray than the ring oscillator. Therefore, the linearity is still poor. On the other hand, the ring oscillator interconnection loading is less than the same inverter cell of the Vojmol PI under the same supply voltage and will have very slow through ray than the ring oscillator. In this case, the Vojmol PI could end up having the pass swallow without the clock on the same PVT corners. And that's even worse. So you must pay attention to the design and verification for three replica idea. Again, if your service does not apply a ring oscillator based PL served in your clock source, then the ring oscillator is an extra power overhead. What would you do for the three control? Think about the filter image for five seconds. Bingo! just adding a few capacitor banks as a tuning filter from your signal class 101. You may know a square waveform with a faster through ray has lots of harmonic component at high frequency, which degrades the linearity. Then you could filter out those harmonic components to get a sinusoidal waveform with a slow through ray with a better linearity by RC or LC filtering. I do see people applying the LC filter at very high clock frequencies if suppressing low frequency noise is needed. But usually that's not preferable due to the area and design overhead since you may need to add the filter at both input and output of the PI. But for simple RC filtering, you can add the variable capacitor bank at the input and outputs to reuse the transistor PMOS MOS as the variable resistive load. Therefore, the area overhead is small, but the calibration of the capacitor bank and the transistor slicer must be done over PVT and frequency during the power on state and switches 
to the proper thread during the data rate change. In addition to the thread control challenge, we need to decide the system level spec on how many input phases of the Voltimore PI. Think about the input phase basic image for 5 seconds. Right, the number of phases is equivalent to the input phase spacing. For example, a four phase input of the PI would have twice the adjacent phase spacing as the A phase input of the PI. Usually, the A phase input of the PI would have better linearity since the thread can be twice faster than the four phase input of the PI. The smaller range of the thread over PVT and frequency is usually less challenging, but the more input phases may lead to more power and complexity overhead in the system, in addition to a standalone PI. A four phase or a quadruple input of a PI is preferable in a system consideration, but the four phase input multiple PI is much more challenging. Let's switch to the kernel PI. Last time, we assume the kernel PI should be linear enough if the current weighting is linear. Is that true? We kind of hint at the input condition last time with the source degeneration. Probably, you could think about the input screen image for 5 seconds. Yes, last time we imply the input of the CML PI was a CML level. If that's not the CML level, but the CMOS level, is that working? Of course not, that don't work. Since the CMOS level would assume a faster through with the hard switching. Therefore, less of unwanted harmonic tone will be generated through the mixing and the showing at the output to degrade the linearity. Again, how do we improve the linearity? Think about the filtering again for 5 seconds. Correct, that the Baltimore PI, the Cormor PI can also add filter, either the RC or LC filtering on the PI's input and output. But again, the filtering approach here means it's a single tone output, which must be tunable over a very wide frequency range. Not to mention the calibration of the LC tank peak frequency over PVT and switch doing the data Harping is a challenge. Besides the same filtering issue as the Voshimo PI, do you see any other issue with the Kermo PI? Bingo! You should visualize the Kermo PI seems to have much more transistor and resistor area. Therefore, it will occupy more area even though the CML has a better PSR than the CMOS inverter. From the process scaling point of view, the CML is not as good as the CMOS due to the area scaling is very poor. Also, the routing capacity of the CML PI may limit its operation frequency. Therefore, the CML PI is not quite attractive anymore for the ultra high speed steering. Here are the summarized image showing you why someone does not prefer Voshmo or Kermo PI anymore due to a few changes we need to be aware of. Voshmo PI does not easy to meet the high need and low power at the same time. Even though the RIN oscillator is available to provide the replica through a control information to the much more PI with a low power benefit. The loading mismatch 
may either degrade the nitty over pass swallow if not designed properly over PVT and frequency, adding the RC filtering for the through rate control is another option. But the power on calibration capacity and rate change during the mission mode could be a challenge. Also, the power of a volt mode PI could go up quickly if a greater number of the input phase is needed to improve the linearity for a narrow well control through a range over PVT and frequencies. Even though the voltage mode PI suffers poor PSR if a filter is a through-ray control, the current mode PI is also a change in the same filtering issue. Moreover, the current mode PI does not scale with the advanced process well and still occupies lots of area mostly from the passive elements, either in the resistive row or more inductive row. In addition, the speed limitation because of the capacity routing plastic of the Kermode PI may let fewer people use it. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you are benefiting from those circuit images, I would love to hear your feedback and please share comments down below. Lastly, please share the video link with the people who may be benefiting.